Now this story, me and my mate Malcolm, heard it quite a few years ago. And we thought it was a cracking story, but neither of us liked the end. So we challenged one another to write an ending for it. A better ending. And we, we both failed. Now over the years, I think I, this, I've had sort of three goes at putting an ending to it, and yeah, never been happy with it. Tonight, before I had a bath, I, I looked at my story list, and there it was. <laughs> I got in the bath and started to work on it. So I've come up with another ending, whether it, whether it works or not, I don't know. There you go. Miss Johnson had never married, and since her retirement, which had been quite a long time ago, she devoted herself to a cottage garden. The cottage was in a picturesque village. And she spent, you know, any time the weather was suitable, she was out there working on it. And it always had a beautiful display of flowers. She was always there. People were always stopping to admire the flowers and talk to her. And, you know, this is how life was. And once a month, she used to go down to the local store and the post office on her bike and pick up a plain brown package. And there was a lot of speculation as to what this was in this package. Nobody ever knew. And one month, she went down there to pick up the package, and it hadn't arrived, and she was really upset. You know, and the, you know, the, the postmaster said, well, you know, what is it? I said, I says, well, it's my jigsaw. I subscribed to this company for a jigsaw. She used to receive a jigsaw every month of a beautiful place. It could be a mountain top or a valley, you know, a riverside or a coastal, but it was always beautiful places. And, and she found she enjoyed doing it over four or five days, you know, four or five nights. And it, it, she, she found it was like travelling to these places. And she really looked forward to this every month. And uh, the shopkeeper said, well, we have to wonder what was in them packages, you know, there's been a lot of speculation about it. He says, well, hang on, he says, I had a rip in here the other day. And he said, they got what they, he said was a new concept in jigsaws. And he's left me a sample, but I don't think they're going to catch on. He said, because all it is is in a plain box, there's no picture. But the rip reckons it will add to the enjoyment of doing the jigsaw. So he says, it's left, you know, you can have that. So she wasn't sure, but anyway, she took it home and uh, straight away she started on it and, you know, but she was quite good at jigsaw, so, she, you know, I get the corners and the straight edges and, and she started to work on it and as she worked on it, she, the whole thing became familiar. There was a skyline and there was obviously some, obviously some beautiful flowers <coughs> along the bottom and, and, she, and she thought, you know, it's just familiar. Then it came in, it was obviously a building, and as it took shape, it was obviously a cottage. And, and, and this photograph must have been taken at about this time, because it was just how the garden looked at this time. Uh, she worked away, there was a, an open porch on the front, and there was a bicycle leaning against it. And then as she filled in the porch, there was a person, which was Miss Johnson, letting herself in to the front door. She carried on working, and the windows either side, the, the one on the right with the small pane, she filled that all in, and then the identical one on the left, she carried on, but she was a piece missing. Right in the middle of this window, she could see there was something in the window, but she couldn't make out what it was. And without this piece, she just couldn't make it out. But eventually, she, she sort of stayed up till the early hours. She couldn't, you know, go to bed till she'd finished this jigsaw. In the end, she was one piece missing. And she, you know, she searched all around, she shook all the clothes, she, but she couldn't find that piece. Well, the next morning, though it was a nice day, <coughs> Miss Johnson wasn't in <coughs> And after a few hours, people got worried about her. 
So they, they found the police. The local Bobby came down and forced entry. And she passed away peacefully in the night. And while he was waiting around for, you know, the body to be taken away and things like this, he was just looking around the room and photographs and things like that. And then he noticed the jigsaw with the piece missing. And he started looking round, felt round, and just by the leg of the table, he felt something, picked it up, it was that piece. And he popped it in the space. It was a man's face. He looked at it, I've seen that face before. And he looked across at the photograph on the wall. It was a man in uniform. It was Miss Green, uh, Miss Johnson's fiance who never returned from the First War. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.